Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I commit to update daily. If you like this watch, you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Buy, trade, and sell luxury watches on thewatchbox.com. Today we discuss two of my favorite things, the Oris Aquis and the color green. This is the Oris Aquis date with sunburst green dial and green ceramic bezel insert, a timepiece that's a very wearable 12.8 millimeters thick, 43.5 across the round of the case, but nicely constrained at only 49.9 millimeters lug to lug. You could wear this watch easily on a wrist as small as 14 centimeters in circumference, and I find on my 16 centimeters circumference wrist, it's an absolute treat. Comfortable, planted, and again, at 12.8 millimeters thick, it's about as thin as a Rolex sub, which is to say you can wear this under any cuff that will clear a Rolex sub. It's a wonderfully comfortable watch, as the case back has a reasonably regular shape and creates no pressure pressure points or hot spots. Moreover, because of the flexibility of the strap, the conforming profile does not create stiffness. There's no flare, so you get all the advantages of a strap that closes the gap to the end of the case. There's no daylight between case and strap, yet you have the ability to pull it straight down around the tight curve of a smaller wrist. You'll even note that the strap is fixed in place by screws. For absolute security on the wrist, Oris is not testing its luck with spring bars. This is how every luxury watch should be built. You'll note that the strap, in this case, is a very substantial brown calfskin with a sheer side that is wonderfully thick and a contrasting stitch beautifully made with a rubber underlay to isolate the leather from the heat, moisture, and sweat and grit of the wrist. This ensures that the leather will get maximum life in practice. And you'll even note it features a rather deluxe deployant clasp with a straight through polished stripe, satin finished flanks, a polished bevel on the edge. There is trigger actuation with a combination of satin and engine turned prolage finish on the inside. Twin trigger release, so not friction fit. That's upscale. That's the way every clasp should be. And it features a minderless system. So once you have this strap sized on your wrist, it tucks any excess length underneath the clasp for a flat and clean look that eliminates excess length flapping in the breeze, as well as awkward minder loops on the opposite side of the strap. The lug profiles are short, stout, and rather tightly downturned. So again, this is a good watch for a small wrist. If you like the style of a large watch, but you do have that smaller wrist, 14 to 16 and a half centimeters circumference, this is the full-size dive watch for you. You'll also note there's a handsome combination of satin finish, which is longitudinal on the flanks of the watch, and small polished accents on the hoods of the lugs and flourishes underneath the bezel as well as the lip of the bezel. You'll also note that there's a sharp cleft line between the lugs and the case band that's canted slightly inward to break up the mass of the metal. Though not a thick watch, Oris left nothing to chance. Beautiful articulation of the case lines. Now you'll note that the dial of the watch is a sensational, let's get closer here because I really do need to point out how good looking this watch is, a sensational metallic green sunburst. I would say short of something like one of Moser's Fume dials, this is about as good as any company in Swiss watchmaking does metallic tinged dials. Oris has also done brown dials, blue dials. The green is their best yet, and you can take my word as an aficionado of all things green. This one's mean green and the real deal. It looks fantastic, and because of the metallic sunburst quality of it, it has a dynamism in the light that makes it a bit of a chimera. It's always changing, never the same watch from any two angles, but always sensational. The bezel has a crisp action. You feel it, you hear it. It's one of those bezel detents that defines a watch. A bad bezel can break even a good dive watch, just as a great bezel can really act as the exclamation mark on an overall outstanding effort. And this watch is that. The green ceramic insert features lacquer fills in white for outstanding contrast. New York Jets fans, your watch has come in. But it's the luminescent pearl that you line up with the minute hand that makes this really useful, as you can effectively use that as a zero to 60 minute chronograph. I find for most applications, Having a dive bezel is easier and quicker to reference at a glance than a chronograph minutes register, which is always small and rarely calibrated to more than 30 minutes. This is much better with none of the downstream maintenance costs of a chronograph. The green ceramic is effectively as scratch resistant as the sapphire crystal, thus not being anodized aluminum or ADLC, this bezel will age well, effectively shaking off all scratches and scuffs. If you're not one to shatter, chip, or 
otherwise crack a sapphire, you're not going to do the same to a bezel. This is a long-wearing watch. Even the crown guard structure is non-generic. As you can see, it's fixed in place by Oris's distinctive tri-screws and nicely shoulders the crown for protection against abrasion and shearing. You also note that the crown itself draws on Oris's experience in pilot's watches. Sort of like the big crowns, it is in fact a big crown with deep and rich knurling as well as polished highlights. It's a pleasure to use this crown. It feels great and it looks great. Now you will note the watch features a date. It features, I may as well demonstrate these functions, Hacking or stop seconds when the crown is in its outermost position, so you can stop the seconds hand and synchronize to a reference time. And it features a quick set date function, so you can rapidly cycle the date should it run down. The watch should probably cycle that date fully. The watch has an automatic winding system protected by 300 meter water resistance. Automatic winding, engaging a 38 hour power reserve when fully energized. 26 joules. You can see it's a bi-directional winding system. It's based on the ETA 2824 architecture, beating away at 28,800 vibration per hour or 4 hertz. It is a Salida SW201, which is a Salida 2824 movement. So the ETA calibers are so old that anyone can build a movement to those general schematics, and that's exactly what Salida does. Oris regulates them, tests them, cases them up, and thus you get a tank tough movement in a tank tough watch that happens to look like a million dollars. You don't have to spend a fortune to get one of the most attractive and appealing dive watches on the market. Oris has already delivered the goods. This is a watch waiting for an owner. Will you answer the call? See it and decide for yourself on the watch box. And I'm back with the Oris Aquas Date, the green dial watch that glows blue by night. See this one and make it yours on the watch box.